describing the traditions and training from the Cherokee Nation. And they also bear witness that before, way before the coming of the white man or the pale face or whatever, white man, weak bone, yeah, okay, <laughs> that there were black people who were here first. Uh-huh, before some of their clans or tribes actually arrived on this land. And in our recent journey to Mexico, uh, we found the diaspora had included black families that are part of the Mexican culture. Not only from the diaspora, but back early on in early ages, the old Mech culture, which represents those large basalt uh, heads, stones, carved out of volcanic rock that weigh up to 35 and 40 tons, just the head itself. Now you know they're called stone builders, which means they have a direct link with the stone builders in Egypt who built the temple throughout the land of Nubian Egypt and along the banks of the Nile and the Great Pyramid. But because we are the ones who were hidden away, to allow the other members of our people to rule. We had to be somewhat dummied. Do you know what I'm saying? Right. But today, now they're finding evidence of our presence all over the planet. Every day they keep discovering new evidence. Even in Europe, okay? Even in Eurasia. Even among the Mongolians and the people of the high steppes, even in the Caucasus Mountains. All right, y'all, we're back with another video. Y'all know how we do. I always push and help well, better understand the self and giving praise to the Most High. So check this out in this video. We're going over Albert Perry, his DNA. Okay, he got the oldest Y chromosomes ever found. That proves, and he was an American, that proves that FBA is has the oldest history that's dated right to America. I'm gonna go over this video. I'm gonna speed it up just so we don't, uh, you know, it's a 25 minute video. But this was very important for, this is why people get mad at us when we talk about FBA, or, you know, talk about some things that we are trying to delineate, they get upset. Because they've been upset. They've been mad at, you know, the lineage and the history that what America here has. Now, in this video, is they're going to go over how they tried to push everybody to say, you know, they're from Africa. They want people to feel like there's nobody from America. And everybody came over here on the boat for a reason. Because they understand that it's true history here. Right here. That our people are from. And in this video, he's going to go over that they actually, this is dated that the oldest people that got the Y chromosome. So it's like America is the spot that they're trying to hide from everybody and make it seem like, I don't know, it's Africa for a reason. No riches, just blood that held a secret the world wasn't ready for. When scientists tested his Y chromosome, they were shocked. It didn't match any known lineage. It didn't fit any white European profile. In fact, it was older than anything they had ever seen. Shout out to Racehead, man, for sending me this, man. Appreciate you, brother. You always be on top. You definitely got to get this out there, man. Let's get it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. Push me on out. His DNA proved something terrifying to those in power. That every white human alive today descended from a variation of a black genetic blueprint. And just like that, he became a threat. Not for what he did, but for what he was. This is the story they tried to erase. But today, we're bringing it back because the truth was in his blood, and somebody didn't want you to know it. What if I told you that a black man's DNA, discovered by accident, completely shattered that narrative? His name was Albert Perry, and when scientists tested his Y chromosome, they found something so ancient, so impossible, it sent shockwaves through the genetic community. His DNA didn't match any other group on Earth. Not Native American, not European, not even other African lineages. It was older, hundreds of thousands of years older, older than the pyramids, older than written language, older than modern humans themselves. And the most shocking part? It was discovered in a black man living in America. So ask yourself, if Albert Perry's DNA is older than any known human lineage in the Americas, what are they hiding? History is not written by those who tell the truth. It's written by those who own the pen. 
and for over 400 years, the pen has never been in our hands. They told us our story began on slave ships. They told us we were rootless, voiceless, nameless. They told us we had no past, only pain. But what they never told us is that the truth was in our blood all along. From the moment the first Europeans set foot in the Americas, they began rewriting the past. They silenced the voices of the black indigenous tribes they encountered. They burned villages. They renamed rivers. They erased nations. Because if the world knew the truth, that black people were already here long before Columbus, then the entire system of conquest, colonization, and control would fall apart. So they replaced history with myth. They taught our children that we were nothing but former slaves. They told us our ancestors came from Africa with no civilization, no science, no sovereignty. They said we were discovered, as if we didn't already exist. But the truth has a funny way of surviving. It hides in places they can't reach, in songs, in stories, in stone carvings. And now, in science. For years, mainstream genetic studies avoided African-American DNA. They studied European lineages, they studied Asian migrations, they traced the movements of Neanderthals and ancient Nordic tribes, but they rarely touched African-Americans. Why? Because if they ever studied us deeply, if they ever cracked open the code of our DNA, they'd find something terrifying. Not just a connection to Africa, but to something even older, something that didn't fit into their timeline, something that couldn't be explained by slavery. They would find that we didn't just come from Africa, we came from the beginning. And in 2013, when scientists stumbled upon the DNA of Albert Perry, a man who had passed away in quiet obscurity, they weren't ready for what they found. They expected to see the usual ancestry breakdown. Instead, they found a genetic anomaly so ancient, so powerful, that it threatened to rewrite human history, starting with the Americas. And what did they do? They didn't announce it to the world. They didn't put it on the news. They didn't make it required reading in classrooms. They buried it, tucked away in scientific journals, labeled it an outlier, filed it under further research needed. But we're not outliers. We're not accidents. We're not invisible. We are the origin they've been trying to hide. And now the truth is rising. Albert Perry wasn't famous. He didn't write books. He didn't lead revolutions. He wasn't the subject of documentaries or celebrated by scholars. He lived a quiet life in South Carolina, in a world that told him his past began in slavery and ended in struggle. But what Albert Perry didn't know, what no one could have imagined, was that his body carried a secret older than civilization itself. It all began after his death. One of his relatives submitted a DNA sample to a commercial genetic testing company as part of a family tree project. The goal? To learn about their African roots, the usual migration stories, maybe some tribal connections, and the typical breakdown most African Americans get. But what the scientists found was something they couldn't explain. Albert Perry's Y chromosome, the genetic strand passed from father to son, generation after generation, didn't match anything in their global database. Not a single known lineage. Not from Africa, not from Europe, not from Asia, not from anywhere. It wasn't just rare, it was unprecedented. His Y chromosome was so genetically distinct, so ancient, that it didn't even fall on the modern human family tree. It stood alone, like a towering monolith of forgotten history. How old was it? Over 338,000 years. That's older than the oldest known Homo sapiens fossils. Older than anything science had ever traced in the human genome. Older than the so-called Y-chromosomal Adam, the theoretical common ancestor. So over 338,000 years. So this is why, you know, we see the stuff that's going on in America. We're hiding, you know, naming us the African-American. They don't want to, they don't want to, let our origin be in America. And this is the reason because, you know, the history is be the history will be deep. Um, I suggest everybody get this book, When We Rule by Robin Walker. Um, it's a good book explaining about the Europeans only been ruling for the last couple hundred years, you know, three, four hundred years. They haven't been like we got history where our people were ruling for thousands and thousands of years. And they try to suppress all of this information, but now it's 2025, so it's coming out and we linking everything together. Of all living men. Let that sink in. Albert Perry, a black man from America, carried a Y chromosome older than any known human being on the planet. He wasn't just part of history, he predated it. And here's what really sent shockwaves through the scientific community. He wasn't from an isolated tribe in the heart of Africa. He wasn't from an untouched island with ancient DNA. He was from America, from the very land they told us we came to in chains. Right, he was from America. Albert Perry's DNA revealed something no one wanted to admit. That the oldest known human paternal lineage wasn't found in a cave or a desert or a jungle. It was found in a descendant of enslaved Africans living in the United States. So ask yourself, how did this man, in a country built on stolen land and broken identity, come to possess the oldest Y chromosome ever discovered? It wasn't luck. It wasn't random. It was legacy. It was survival. It was truth hidden in the one place they never thought to look, black man in America. And from that moment forward, science could no longer pretend that the African-American story began in 1619, because Albert Perry's blood proved otherwise. The Y chromosome is more than just a strand of DNA. It's a time capsule passed directly from father to son for thousands, even hundreds of thousands of years. 
It doesn't mix or dilute like other DNA. It preserves, which means if your ancestor walked this earth 10 generations ago, his Y chromosome is still walking with you. Now imagine this. Scientists open that time capsule, and what they find inside is older than any human being they've ever studied. That's exactly what happened with Albert Perry. His Y chromosome didn't just challenge scientific models. It destroyed them because it didn't fit the known human family tree. It didn't trace back to Y chromosomal Adam, the man science says was the father of all living men who supposedly lived about 200,000 years ago. Perry's Y chromosome predated that by over 100,000 years. How is that even possible? The answer, it shouldn't be. And that's why the scientific world froze. His DNA didn't belong to the typical haplogroups found in modern African, European or Native American populations. It belonged to a newly discovered lineage called a zero zero, something so rare, so ancient, that scientists had never seen it in the living person before. Most people's Y DNA belongs to lineages that branched off long after modern humans appeared. But Perry's Y DNA came from a branch before the modern branches even existed. It was like finding the foundation stone of a skyscraper, buried deep, forgotten, but still supporting everything built on top of it. And here's where it gets even more mind blowing. This ancient A00 lineage wasn't found in a remote African tribe. It was found in South Carolina, in a man whose ancestors had likely lived in America for generations. This means one of two things. Either his ancient ancestors migrated to America long, long before Columbus, before Native Americans, before written history, or that the American continent once held populations carrying this ancient African lineage. Populations that were erased, reclassified, or renamed after colonization. Both possibilities shatter the accepted history of how humans spread across the earth. It challenges the Bering Strait theory. It challenges the idea that black people only arrived here through slavery. It challenges every textbook that places black presence in America after 1492. And once again, the institutions didn't want to talk about it. They labeled the discovery interesting. They hid it in academic jargon. They made no effort to share it with the communities it most affected, African Americans. But here's the truth. Albert Perry's Y chromosome is proof that black people are not just part of the human story. We are the beginning of it. We are not descendants of slaves who were brought here. We are descendants of the first men, the first navigators, the first Americans, whose blood still pulses through the bodies of millions today. So that's the evidence, man, that we the originals. And we've been saying that. A lot of people have been saying that. I've been saying that to people before I, you know, watch this. But this kind of confirms it. It's giving up Albert Perry. I researched Albert Perry. And this is all facts. Um, it's probably going to be more information that come out about us, but we know that they're trying to whoever controls the whoever controls history or <clears throat> they control the pen. So they're they're trying to write out history how they want to write it out from the crimes they committed, and that's what we're going through right now with our culture, with our lineage, you know. We're just trying to get through with all the lies and everything that they're saying. And it's a strong force. People don't want this. People don't want to know the truth. You know, they'd rather stick with the lie that they've been putting out there. But we get into it. Shout out to Albert Perry, man, for, you know, having that Y chromosome and them finding it. And I'm trying to bury it. But I want to know what y'all think about this. So I think about our period and the Y chromosome is probably in everybody that's FBA and even taking them ancestry tests. <clears throat> they probably got control over that so they can just throw us off. I don't think we can trust. We can't trust the system, in my opinion. But let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace and love. You are totally dependent on other people to take care of your needs because you don't have those, those roots sunk into the ground. To have a community, you must have three things to have a community in it. You must have a wholly independent economic structure that can provide goods, service, products, and things for your own people, and jobs and, uh, and tax spaces for your own people. You should at least control four basic things. You should be trying to control water, food, medicine, and energy to be able to survive. Here we got Mr. Pollock. He had a cornfield. He took advantage of a free water test from us. And this is what we found in this water. We found sulfur. We found hardness. And we solved these problems with an easy fix of two tanks. So get your free water test today. Stay blessed. Click the link below.